hello guys welcome back to the quantity surveying workshop and to another video in today's video we are going to be treating the two last members which is the area of the roofing sheet the ridge cap and the wall hip cap so how do we go about measuring the area of the roofing sheet now to measure the area of the roofing sheet you need to take into conversance the shapes the roof makes so now look at this um, roof plan. We know that this shape here is the shape of a triangle and there are how many sides, two sides. Which means that what we have here is the same area we have here. And this is the shape of a trapezium. What we have here is the same thing as what we have here. So when you find the area of the triangle, you multiply by two. Area of the trapezium, multiply by two. What you need now is to define your triangle. We're going to be starting with the triangle. We know that here, is your hip rafter here is the width of the roof which is 11,925 as given then we need to know what is the height of this triangle which is our what common rafter so what i'll simply do is i will bring out that triangle outside which is what i have done here so we know that here is our principal rafter which is this the span of the roof, the width side is this, and then the height of the triangle, which is the common rafter, is what this. How do we find the area now? You know, the area is equal to what half base times height or base times height all over what two. So now to find for the area, what is the base? Eleven thousand nine hundred twenty-five. I converted them to meter. Don't forget, first convert them to meter. So you convert it to meter, that's 11.93 multiplied by what? What is the height? 3.44 divided by what? 2. So the area is equal to what? 20.52 meter square. So this is the area of the triangle for one side. You know that there are two, the triangles are on two sides. So what do we do? We multiply by 2, that's 2 sides, that's 2 times what? 20.52 and that will give me what? 41.04 meter square so doing this you find for the area of the two triangles on the roof now the next thing i'm going to be looking for would be what the trapezium and what is the area of the trapezium the area of the trapezium is what a plus b times height all over what two where a which is this is our what the measurement or the length of our ridge board that we've calculated for the height which is this is the length of the common rafter which we've calculated for and b is the what span of the roof the length side so now we calculate the area is equal to what what did we get as our ridge board we calculated our ridge board to be what 2.10 meters. That's what I have done here. Written here. Then the span of the roof is what 14,025 converted to meters, which is this 14.03. Then times what? What is the height of the roof or the height of this roofing sheet, the roof area here, which the height here stands for what? The common rafter, which is 3.44. So you divide it by what? So and the area is what 27.74 so we multiply it by 2 because this shape is on two sides and it will give us what 55 55.48 meter square so in order to find for the total area now the total area will be what the area of the triangle plus the area of the word trapezium so we know that the area of the trap of the triangle is what 41.04 and the area of the trapezium is 55.48 so we add them together so the total area will give me what 96.53 meter square so doing that you've gotten the area of what the roofing sheet so what you need to do now is to describe so we describe by saying 0 0.15 gauge that's the thickness of the roofing sheet so what specification aluminium roofing sheet laid on what 75 by what 50 mm thin by what pole lines so you describe you so you measure the area 96.53 and then you close so the rich cap stroke, stroke hip cap 
and the piece of um, they, are, they, are, they are made up of the same materials used to make the roofing sheets that's what we're going to be using to line the um to line the opening here you know when you are laying your roofing sheets um there's going to be like a roughness around this side so you need to be closing it with your hip cap and your or your wrist cap wherever um, the situation is so now we're going to be covering this line here with our hip cap and we're going to be covering the line on top with our what wrist cap so you know that to find to measure or to find for the span of our hip cap just get the value for your hip board or your hip rafter and then to find um the measurements for your reach cap just find the measurements for your reach board that you've calculated for and that is what we've done here so we wrote the detail we wrote detail because it is the same um description or the same material used in the different sheets here so when i say reach and what hip cap what is the dimension or what is the measurement we've calculated for our reach cap 2.10 that's 2100 and then what is the measurement for our hip cap all you need to do is to get your what principal rafter or your hip rafter which is what 6.88 then why am i multiplying it by four i am multiplying it by four because you can see that there are four principal rafters in this roof one two three and what four that's why I'm multiplying it by four. I didn't multiply the ridge cap because of what it is only worth one. So when you multiply it by four, you get the value which is 27.52. So you add this to the ridge cap, which will give me what 29.62. What, so this is the value of the material you're going to be using for your what ridge cap and your what hip cap. So doing this, we've come to the end of the series for measuring um, the members of a hip group. I hope you enjoyed the series and this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel to make the channel grow. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.